Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Hello. So today, I've loaded up some new film, which I've never shot before, which is from Cinestill, and it's black and white, and it's called Double X. This is a cinema film that was used in motion pictures, but they figured out how to put it in 35mm, so yeah, I thought I'd just give it a go. What you say? Mm, that you only meant well, well, of course you did. Mm, what you say? Mm, that it's all for the best, of course it is. So we're back again, different camera. Hopefully the film works in this one. Although I think I found one of the reasons maybe why it didn't work is because the, the leader reel, leader toothy thingy bit at the end that you feed into the camera behaves a bit funny and uh, it's loaded a bit loose into this so hopefully these photos come out as well. If not, this is a great lesson on why film goes wrong sometimes. This camera that I'm using is quite different to what I'm used to using. I very, very rarely use an SLR. I'm finding it hard to focus just because I'm so unused to shooting like this. So I'm hoping that I'm going to try and focus on some nice clean compositions of like unmoving fast things because otherwise it's probably just going to be out of focus. One of the other things that is different is that I'm using a 50mm lens which is a bit tighter than I'm used to. So I'm hoping but that also helps me focus in on some nice clean things, sniping from the sidelines, not trying to get up in anyone's grill. I mean, I don't know if that's going to come out because he was so much darker than the rest of his fan, but that's pretty cool. They sell treadmill desks. Wow. I'm waiting to cross the road. Um, what I'm thinking about is that I wish I had a camera strap or gloves because without both, it's pretty hard. And it's, I don't know how cold it is right now. It's like a few, de yeah, a few degrees over freezing. It's not that pleasant to have your hands out at all times. Is this it? That's quite cool. Ow, as well. I like the pattern on here. Yeah. So one of the interesting things about this film is that online it's mentioned that you should meter different ways for different light sources. So I think it's 200 for daylight and 250 for tungsten. So uh, found some weird lighting. Gonna take a photo of Louis in the weird lighting uh, at 250 instead of 200. See how it looks. So since we've taken a photo inside to show the kind of tungsten-y balance, but we should also take one outside to show the kind of skin tone reference of how it changes. So we're back to 200 ISO and uh, let's see what it looks like.
that was the end of the roll. Uh, even though there were some troubles shooting this in the first place, I actually had a good time in the end. It felt pretty fresh to use a completely different camera that I wasn't used to using with quite a lot of different variables. And it's also the first time I'd shot black and white in quite a while. So um, it was fun all around, lots of new experiences. Well, maybe not new experiences, but new old things. As far as it goes for the film in general, I thought it came out really nice. I think particularly the kind of like texture, textural, textural? texture-based shots, uh, they came out really nice. I think it's a very contrasty and quite grainy film. That really lended itself to these photos where, especially the ones around the Barbican Center with the concrete, they just look really great. I think I'd definitely shoot it again. I normally prefer a kind of flat black and white film, and I think that's probably better for maybe portraits, but for something like this where you're just focusing on things and buildings, maybe this is a great option. So if you're interested in shooting some of it, I got this role from Parallax in Brixton. They, uh, they stock it, so check them out if you want to buy some. And finally, thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to build a website for your photographic portfolio, a store, blog, anything, just a website in general, check out Squarespace. It's really easy to build a great looking professional website you definitely don't need any prior experience and you can get 10% off using the code negative feedback. So thank you very much for watching and there'll be another video next Tuesday.